And in our world business news, Standard & Poor's cut its outlook on U.S. government debt to negative, which could have broad implications for investors and the economy. S&P yesterday said the U.S. government risks losing its AAA credit rating unless policymakers agree on a plan by 2013 to reduce its budget deficit and the national debt limit. There is a material risk that policymakers might not reach an agreement on how to address medium and long-term budgetary challenges, the rating agency added. S&P's assessment has caused investors to sell off stocks aggressively. According to investment managing company PIMCO, the downgrade could have a large impact for investors. And let's not forget that that impacts every single American. If, and I still live an if, but if the U.S. were to lose its AAA, borrowing costs would go up for everybody, the dollar would be weaker, and the willingness of the rest of the world to hold our assets would go down. So everybody would be worse off with a downgrade of the U.S. rating. Global car makers are going all out to impress Chinese consumers at the Shanghai Auto Show as they seek a firm footing in the world's largest auto market. The top automakers increasingly look to China and its growing wealth to fuel their growth. Although growth is slowing from its breakneck pace in recent years, the country's market potential is still attracting much attention. A senior Chinese government official said that vehicle sales are expected to rise to 23 million units by the year 2015, up 27 percent from the 2010 level. But not only the world's top automakers plan to increase sales in China, also domestic car makers are trying to grow the po their popularity of their brands both at home and abroad. In China, we're expecting about a 5 percent, 5 to 10 percent growth this year. What we saw in the first quarter was consistent with that. For us, that's a sustainable level of growth. It's predictable and we think it's the right level of growth for the future. Of course, the last two years have been much higher than that and have really been in breakneck speed. British Prime Minister David Cameron said today that a representative from India or China should become the next chief of the International Monetary Fund. The Prime Minister said in an interview it was time for the IMF to look beyond Europe for its leader, effectively ruling out his predecessor, Gordon Brown. Cameron said the rise of India and China meant it was time for the IMF to look further afield. So far, the IMF has always been headed by a European like Frenchman Dominique Strauss Kahn, who currently heads the organization. He is scheduled to step down soon, therefore, the search for a successor begins. Before we head back to news, let's take a quick look at the Asian equity commodity and the currency markets. And after that, Laura Buckwell is back with the news. <laughs>